Today is laundry day. And you know how I know? <laughs> I'm wearing a bathing suit. I found this in the corner back of my closet. <laughs> I pulled it out kind of like this. <laughs> <laughs> and we're standing in a pile of laundry. There we go. I'm just gonna have a seat right there. This is comfy. You wanna lie down? You're part of the problem, Charlie. You are part of the problem. Yes. But here's the thing. Trish, mm -hmm. over the past three and a half years of us being on the road, you have turned into... I've what? turned into a laundry ninja. You, she really has. Yes. Okay. So okay how many loads I, of laundry can you do in 90 minutes? I could do five loads of laundry in 90 minutes. That's from wash to fold it back in the truck. And I have been an observer and on occasion a participant in this. <laughs> on occasion a participant. Okay. I like that. Right? I like that, yeah. And I have learned, and you have, I've, so I've picked up some, I've eavesdropped a few things. You yes. do laundry differently on the road than you did at home. Yes, I learned how to get certain things dried first so we can start the folding mm -hmm. process and I can't wait to share with you so that you mm -hmm. can get in, out, and on your way. Okay, so some people might be asking right now, well, why wouldn't you just do it at the RV park? Ah. Most RV parks, unless you're staying at like a really big chain, have mm -hmm. like three washing machine and dryers. Yes. And you don't know if those dryers work very well. Mm -hmm. So I like to go to a commercial facility because I know the dryers are hot. That's the weakest link. Mm -hmm. And um, I can do like massive loads. I always have five loads. Sometimes if I'm going to do sheets and blankets, yeah. I have like six or seven. Yeah. So, um, so anyway, that's why I go and I find in my circle if there's a laundry facility within 15 to 20 minutes. I don't like to go further than that because then it's kind of a waste of time. Okay, where's the first place we're going to get started? Bedroom. Bedroom. Let's go. <laughs> So even if you're RVing part-time, this video is still for you. There's tons of gold nuggets. And even if I was part-timing, I'd still, now that I have all my knowledge, I would still stop at a public facility before I went home. Because I remember every time I would get home from a vacation, our laundry room would be piled for maybe a week, possibly two weeks. And it would kind of stop up our whole productivity for the week. So if you are a part-timer and you've gone on a big trip, maybe for like a week, 10 days, your whole RV needs to be washed right all your sheets your blankets your clothes pack a lunch go to the laundry facility get everything started go back out to your RV have a little lunch and then recruit everybody that's been on the trip to go in and do all the folding and put it in bags so that you when you get home everybody goes up to their rooms with their bag of laundry they put it away your trip is over that is like key number one number two always have a second set of sheets. We have a second set of sheets because you don't know, I love this phrase, if, if you're traveling with a dog, if they're gonna lose their cookies, <laughs> you'll have a backup set of sheets. If you're traveling with babies, you'll have a second set of sheets. And if you're doing your laundry, throw those second set of sheets on so that when you come back with all your folded laundry, the last thing you really wanna do is look at a bed to make because RV beds are not the easiest thing to make. So if you have that second set of sheets, you can throw them on when you're getting rid of all the clothes, you already feel like you've made an accomplishment. I don't duplicate a lot of things in the RV because we need to be light and tight. But when it comes to sheets, I think it's worth it to have two sets. Okay, so the first step is to separate all of this mess. I like to do it by fabric and not by color, which I think is kind of a new approach because we have all these new technical types of fabrics and you don't want to leave them in the dryer and get crispy. I love crispy towels, but you can't have crispy workout clothes. Otherwise they, um, they break and come apart and then your stuff doesn't hold its shape anymore. So that's why we do it in different fabrics instead of different colors. So let's get the white separated. Let's get the dark separated. I put sheets and I put sheets in one. And if I have any dark towels, I mix those with jeans and then I put all my workout clothes together. And we are separating all this here in the rig before we even leave because the last thing you wanna do is separate your clothes in a public environment. <laughs> It's not comfortable, it's actually very awkward. So, and it will save you loads of time if you do it here rather than do it there because you can't throw your stuff all over the ground there. I mean, you can't, but I don't know why you would want to. Okay, I do white towels so that I can bleach the heck out of them. Oops, white towels over there. Uh, I tried to do different colors for each person in the family, like Victoria had yellow, Carson had blue, Caleb had gray, and really all that did was promote arguing. You have my towel! And so I got rid of the colored towels immediately. <laughs> Everybody has white towels. I do two towels per person, so we have about 10 towels in the rig, even though two people left to go to school, so now we just have extra towels. <laughs> but towels, underwear, and socks, those are the weakest links in your laundry. So if you're going out for 10 days, 
have 10 pair of underwear, have 10 pair of socks and have enough towels to get you through those 10 days because then you won't have to worry about laundry because that's when laundry gets serious is when people run out of those things then everybody's like kind of grumpy, they have nothing to wear because you can rewear a pair of shorts, you might even be able to rewear a shirt if it's not too stinky or messy but you can't rewear your underwear. Trish, if we're out for 10 days, I only need four pair of underwear. Oh boy. <laughs> but okay, so look, these board shorts, I consider these exercise clothes because they dry super fast. They're only gonna need about 15 minutes in a commercial dryer. So that goes in. But cotton socks, these things take forever. So you cannot have any of your socks in with your exercise clothes because you'll just have these little wet things mm -hmm. that are messing up the load. So this goes in with darks. So how many pals do you have here? Well, I have a lot today because I'm doing our comforter, I'm doing our sheets, love doing comforters at a laundry facility. Sure, they're because they're big machines. They're big machines, yeah. they're awesome and you can actually get these guys clean. So anyway, and now we have a dog, so there's dog hair on everything. <laughs> Um, that kind of brings me to people who have sensitive skin. Mm. Laundry mats might not be for you, or you go to a laundry mat that's actually managed, and you'll know because someone will be sitting at the front desk, and you'll see them. They'll be cleaning the inside of the machines. Everything usually has like there's rules plastered all over the place. And if you have sensitive skin, those are your laundry mats because they actually care about their machines. Sometimes we've been to some places, and I was like no we're not going to do this mm -hmm. <laughs> we're going to go somewhere else people are pulling out dog beds oh boy. sneakers i'm like i'm not putting my clothes in mm -hmm. after that so not that i know what everybody's doing when i'm not there but you can get a sense for what a laundromat's like now some people are saying why would you go to laundromat at all why not in a particularly a rig this size why wouldn't you just get your own machine that's a very good idea why don't we get our own machine <laughs> Okay, now that we have a toy hauler, we have two laundry bins. <laughs> but before, we only had room for one. And this had a lid on it so that you couldn't see it when everybody was walking around because I didn't like to look at, into a dirty laundry hamper in the kitchen. But that's the only space I had for it. So I had this little brown trash can with a lid on it and this nice, soft laundry bag. So you could just pull it right out. This is two loads of laundry. It's called an extra large laundry bag. And it's fabric that you can throw into the laundry machine. Because sometimes when you throw in wet towels and things like that, everything gets a little stinky. So it's kind of nice to have a laundry bag that you can throw in with the wash. But I liked how it lined it. And then when it got full, we'd pull it out. I'd throw it in the nose and then I'd have another basket. So if you're working on limited space, think about how you can kind of stack the laundry loads. And then if you were working with an even smaller space, because this one's now for our bedroom, now that we have a little bit bigger rig, and it collapses. But we use that for groceries. Well, we, use we did, that for other now stuff. it's pretty much laundry, but. But we use it for, we can use it for other stuff. You can use it multiple purposes. Like so, going to the, putting your towels, going to the beach, and like yeah. it's all, it's folds down really nice. It folds down really nice, click, click. And unlike everything else we've purchased, this hasn't broken. It hasn't broken. And we put things through the ringer. Oh, we do. Yeah, through the ringer. So anyway, that's that. When do we get to go to the laundry mat? Very soon. Okay, Very what's soon. what's next? Let me just finish separating. Oh. Here's another tip. These are my grocery bags. <laughs> They're stuck. But I like to use them for different members of the family's clothes. After I fold them, I put them in here, especially if you have like three kids or two kids, um, you can separate everybody's clothes once you've folded them, hand them off to them, and then they can put them away. It's really cool. So I bring a few of these bags, and then I always have my little bags, my little bag with my laundry detergent. So that way it's all together. I've got this, I've got my soap, I have my dryer sheets, and then um, some people use like essential oils and a little wool ball if you don't like dryer sheets because there's chemicals, again, sensitive skin, that kind of stuff. Um, I have this and I will link it. It is my favorite smell, but you can't overuse it. I know this because I've done it. <laughs> and the kids were like scratching because I put too much of this scented fabric stuff in it. Um, it's called Diva. This thing fell off and I have it in a bag because sometimes it leaks, but I love it. <laughs> And um, I use it sparingly on things like comforters, not the sheets because it's too much, but on the comforter, on bigger items like jeans, sweatshirts, things that can hold a scent longer. And if you have boys, it's really, really great because it kind of smells like they're clean all the time, even when they're not. <laughs> so anyway, um, my friend Wendy, when we were in Michigan, she was like, 
what is that smell? I'm like, I'll order you some. You'll love it. It'll change your world. So put it on your comforters, maybe your throw blankets, heavier clothing items. Don't use it on everything because it might OD the smell on you. So anyway, but these bringing little bags like this, separating the laundry, making sure that all your soaps and things are together. And I like to have a little coin purse because most laundry mats require a bunch of quarters. And when you put that $20 bill in or whatever, it's like you've won the lottery. Ding, 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 ding. And they have plastic cups there, but it's such a waste. You use the plastic cup and then throw it away. So you, I have my little change purse, which I'll show you once we get there. When do we get to go to the laundromat? Well, remember, this is like painting mark. Most of the oh, stuff happens here. That. So that when we get there, we just put it in. Okay. We set the timer. That's another thing. Have your phone with you. Have a podcast downloaded. Have a book ready because you'll have about a total of 45 minutes to listen to something, be learning something, read something, and also give yourself a little privacy from maybe some of the other people that are there. <laughs> Here we go, heave ho. On our way to the laundry mat. Okay, laundromat. It's not laundry mat. Laundromat. 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 There we go. And check it out, there's tons of them. Splish Splash, Coin Laundry, 1.2 miles. Do you, uh, do you use like reviews? Uh, no, I don't usually use reviews, I use my gut. I mm. drive by and I see if it's sketchy. Okay, Okay. all right. So that's, that's what I do. Um, I actually like the more people the better. When I'm by myself, I get a little sketched out. Okay. Okay, here we go, let's bring them in. Make sure when you're um, sorting all your laundry, you go through the pockets. You don't want to lose any credit cards, and you definitely don't want to be drying any crayons. My headphones. favorite headphones. headphones. I've washed so many pair of headphones, and chapstick does not do well in the dryer. <laughs> the cleanest washing machines here are five dollars. So it's a four loader, so I had it put some loads together, mm -hmm. which is fine, no big deal. Um, but. It's kind of expensive, although the most expensive place I've ever done my laundry is in Malibu. It was like $3.75 for one load, and then another $3 to dry it. Yes. Wow. So yeah. my favorite place to do laundry mm -hmm. is in Mexico. You sent more laundry. Yes. Yes? Oh, yes. I noticed our sheets were off our bed, and I didn't know. So our I just sheets... want to smell them. <laughs> so our sheets, are, our sheets are in there? Yes. Pressed and folded. In. What did you send? Everything I could. It was pretty amazing. <laughs> because you handed it over did it for you. and they folded it and gave it back to me. They saran so, wrapped it. It smelled amazing it smelled and amazing. it cost next to nothing. <laughs> yes. yes. So anyway, but one of the interesting places to do laundry is New Zealand. Yes. Because most of the time they do not have a dryer available or the dryer is very expensive. So they have, um, you line dry your clothes, yeah. which was kind of cool. Yeah. These, these are called Turkish towels and I bought a six pack of them, I think for like $40. And we have used these almost every single day. They go to the beach, they dry really quick, and they're easy to wash. And they um, they hold the scent of your um, dish of your soap really well, so they smell good. They dry fast, and they don't take up a lot of space. And they're not very expensive. And well, forty dollars for six towels. And they so, don't carry sand. So when you take them to the beach, yeah. they don't like the like, sand doesn't get inside of them. Like this will have sand in it until you wash it again. So, and then it'll take almost all day to dry. It's still kind of damp. And those this are already is dry. totally dry. So anyway, but look, we've got all of our stuff line drying and this is provided for you. It's really great. New Zealand, That's kind the of the coolest. What did we do? Oh, and Alaska had a lot of great laundry mats. Oh, Alaska had laundry mats with coffee yep. places in them. So did Canada. Jasper. Jasper, Canada. My favorite far the best place. place to do yes, they yes. had like fresh Danish cappuccinos great Wi-Fi, a place to work, yes. and you could do your laundry. That was like, I don't know why there's not more of them, other than people have washing machine and dryers yes. for the most part, but the best. So I've set my timer, so I know when I'm sitting in the car when to come back. I always like to get the um, workout clothes in first, so that they're ready the first, and they get into the dryer, because they only take about 15 minutes to dry, and the quicker you get them in there, the quicker you start the folding process, and the towels have the longest time to dry. So you leave them in there the entire time you're folding everything else, and it's labor intensive, and then the those towels will be nice and dry, and then you get on those. Okay, we decided, so. we had a little conversation around creating a laundry section on our Amazon page, because you yes. have found a few 
essential, not essential, but things to make laundry easier. Mm -hmm. So if you go to keepyourdaydream.com forward slash Amazon, that will redirect you to our page. Yes. Our storefront, I believe Amazon calls it. And then there are several different categories. We created a category called laundry and there are some things to help make things easy. So yeah. our time's almost up. We're gonna go back in and yep. what? Pull, Timers. The, pull the exercise clothes out first, start folding, mm -hmm. and then, then the darks come out and then the towels come out. Yep, and we get those all boom, 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 loaded in. If you have multiple load washing machines, make sure that you break them up into multiple dryers. You don't take four loads of laundry and put it in one dryer. You'll be there all day long. Gotcha. So you, you have to use like at least two dryers for what we've got going on in here. Okay. Okay. You're drying already? Already dry. 15 minutes for the exercise clothes and the super light things. Like and now you're now we are already working while the rest of the stuff is. We are working. Yes. Okay, so we, we want a pile going for every single person. So we're not just folding and putting every shirt in the same pile. No, then you got more work Trish, when you Caleb. get back to the rig to right. then separate again, right? Right. So one time. Even I know that. One time. Okay, okay so. Does it matter if it's like Mark shirts, Mark's pants? I put Mark shirts, Mark shorts. Trisha shirts, Trisha shorts. Cars, Caleb, you know. Gotcha. And then we used to have competitions when it was all five of us who could have the smallest pile. Tori always lost. When it comes to pillowcases like this, I like to put them into a ball. <laughs> okay, a round ball. And that helps. Make sure you look for helpers and not just. No, that's not true. That's not my tip. That's not my tip. Here's my tip. My tip. My tip is wash. My tip, my tip, okay. my tip. This. <laughs> then. Hey, what are you doing? That's not even how you do it. Okay, ow. <laughs> okay, ladies. I always like to have one of those bags that I told you about that I bring to put everybody's laundry in. And I call it my privacy bag. So as your delicates are coming out of the dryer, you have a place to put them so you're not like lining them up out on the table. And then if you have two, I like to put another one and throw all the socks in so that if you wanna just do this at home in front of the TV or whatever you wanna watch, um, or you wanna just contain all those socks in one spot, you have a good spot for them. Okay, all we have left is the towels and um, we'll fold those pretty nice and tight and so that we can fit them underneath the sink because you know in an RV there's limited space. I do like folding. I was, fun fact, the greeter at the Gap <laughs> when I tried to ask to go and work the cash registers because I wanted to like self-promote. She was like, no, you're in the front of the house. Because <laughs> so I was like, hi, hi. <laughs> Folded shirts like a machine. Anyway. <laughs> We're gonna get those towels out, we're gonna fold them tight, and we're gonna show you how to stack them up nice and high so you can slide them in under your sink. Don't you have tips on folding towels? You, I we do. fold towels a little bit differently now in the RV, don't we? Um, well, okay, so if you don't have a um, table, this is the easiest way. You fold them in half. This might be kind of a scuzzy towel. Yeah, yeah, this one's almost ready to be made. Well, you didn't have your bleach today either. No, but this one's almost ready to be made into dish towels. Gotcha. That's that's how I know. So anyway, you fold them in half, line them up nice and pull it nice and tight. Go in thirds, like this. Yeah. See so yeah, how it's all matching down there? Yeah. Nice and tight. And you fold in half. Fold in half. And you put it under your RV sink. Put that under your RV sink, boom, 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 boom. You're gonna feel like you're at the spa. Well, this is your laundry bag. Just turn it inside out. I washed it, so it smells, it smells good. And you go like this. Put your little arms in there. Put it over the top of your towel. Bring it down. Shimmy, shimmy, shimmy. Flip it over and cinch. Flip it over and cinch. Sometimes it goes smoother than others. Nice. Boom, done. Okay. We did it. We did it. We did it. <laughs> hey, it was nice having you with me. Oh, thanks. Yeah. All right, any closing remarks? Um, I just like that I can get, well, today we did like two, four, six. We did eight loads. Eight, we did eight loads of laundry in under 90 minutes. That's amazing. That means all of our sheets, all of our comforters, all of our towels, all of our clothes. Yes. Done. And I don't have to think about it for another 
Nine or ten days. Nine or ten days. Mm -hmm. Yes. All right. So that's the laundry video. I thought it would be kind of fun because you got some good laundry tips. Mm -hmm. Hope you got one or two things out of this. Even if you're not full time or you're part time or even if you don't even own an RV, hopefully your laundry is more efficient. Efficient. Yes. If you're new here, click that subscribe button because we release a new video every Sunday, 7 Central, and there is so much more to come. And if you're brand new, then click the playlist yes. and like binge season one, or we've grouped everything together like all of our Alaska, mm -hmm. New Zealand, Canada, Florida. We've been so many places. Yeah, we've grouped all of them together on all those episodes together on playlists. So that's a great place to start. So cool. And other than that, we'll catch you on Sunday. Let's go get something to eat. Yeah, I'm kind of hungry. <laughs>